Hi everybody, this is Juanita with Crafty Stitch Away. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a Hello Kitty diaper set. Uh, the one that's showing in my pattern in my shop is I'm revamping it. The pattern is probably from 2014, so I'm trying to upgrade all my patterns from when I really first started making them. And this is one of my original patterns that I started way back when. So I'm trying to make sure that there is proper counts in all of the patterns and the other one had shown a size five hook, I believe it is, for a size three months. I just felt it was way too big. So if you're looking to make a size six months or whatever, by all means, use a five hook. I'm using a 4.5 for this one for the three month size. If you wanted to make a newborn size, you can always use a 3.5 or a four, depending on how tight or loose your tension is. So without further ado, and also this video, my tutorials right now at this point are not for people that are learning crochet stitches as I don't have the proper equipment or haven't figured out yet how to put the camera above me down. Um, so this is kind of head on interacting this way. Trust me, I really don't want to be seen on camera. I'd rather just my hands, but for now, this is the way that I'm doing my videos. It's basically just to show you how I make them. So it is what it is, I guess. So anyway, without any further ado, we're gonna start off with the hat and we are going to, you can either do the magic circle or a chain two. So you're going to chain two and you're gonna do 11 double crochets in that second chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, And what you're going to do is you're going to join with a slip stitch to that very first stitch and you're going to chain two. Now you're going to do two double crochets in each stitch around, which is going to give you 22. So that's four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, whoops, 16, 18, 19, er, 20, and 22. And again, you're going to join with a slip stitch and chain two. Now for the next row, for row three, you're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and one in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, one in the next stitch. And you're gonna just do that all the way around and that should give you a count of 33 stitches. So just doing two and then one. And did I just mess, no, I didn't. My nose was itching, my mommy said that means you're gonna kiss a fool. have another half anymore so that won't be happening so again it's two in one and then one in the next one and two wow my nose is really itchy and one and again, you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the very first stitch, chain two. And for row four, we're gonna do two double crochets in the first stitch, one, two. And we're gonna do one crochet in the next two stitches. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So it's two and then one and one, two, one and one. Whoops. Two, one, one, two, one, one. My doll outfit behind me, I made that last year. I was just bored sitting there, thought, 
let me just try something and I made it, but I never wrote it down as I was making it, the little jean jacket and all that. So I got to figure that out and recreate it. I'd like to make it as a little baby outfit too, because it's so super cute. But if you're anything like me, I have so many lips on, I can't even, yeah. I have stuff all over the place where I started something, I go back and forth. And that's the thing with crochet. You start one idea and you got 15 others in your brain. So it's two and then one in the next two. And I think I might have messed up. So I got two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. Two one one 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 I didn't two and then one and one yay and again join with the slip stitch chain two so for row five that row there row four will give you forty four stitches and that was your last row of decreasing so now on row five we're gonna Double crochet around and we should have 44 stitches. One, two, three, four, just one sec here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. And again, we join with a slip stitch. Now from rows 6 to 10, you're going to repeat row 5, which is basically just double crocheting around those stitches. So 6 to 10, you're just going to double crochet around. What are some ideas and things that you would like to see created? I mean, I already have, I think, 168, 169 of my own patterns. And sometimes I find it hard to come up with new ideas for something else. So if any of you have an idea, I mean, anything at all. I love ideas. I love thinking of new things, but sometimes I get a block and I just, or I get stuck on one thing. I can't even tell you how many cat couches I have around here. I think of one and then I'm on to the next. Slip stitch at the end of the row. I just know this is all going to get all tangled up. 
thought it'd be easier if I wrapped my yarn in a ball before I started, but see, that was a fail. I really wish I had somebody just sit here and videotape me. Do all the editing, all that stuff. And just let me crochet. Just let me do my thing. Beautiful day here where I live, a little province in Canada, where we get tons of snow, but we've had a pretty good fall so far. I've seen times where in October we already get a few feet of snow down, but this year so far it's been pretty good. slip stitch and one two three four five six seven eight two more rows
last round. Okay, so we're coming up to our final row, a row 10, and row 11, we are going to single crochet around. So we're only going to chain one there. So there's your hat so far, and for this row here, we're just going to single crochet around. Now, for the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pink and where do I have the right ends right here? And you're going to add your pink in for the last row and slip stitch, chain one. And what you're going to do in this row is you're going to slip stitch all the way around. Not single crochet, just slip stitch all the way around the hat. And as I said, if you find this is too small, too big for your three month old, everybody has different tensions. So just go by what, what you think is, uh, what fits the size with your tension the best. And we're gonna slip stitch to that first stitch, 
pull off and cut. And now before we go any further, what you're going to do is you are going to weave in your stitches. So that's what it looks like so far. Let's just weave in those stitches, those ends rather. I would usually go a few times with each one, but for sake of time in the video, I'm just quickly going to weave them in. off. Okay, so there's our little hat. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make the appliques that go with the hat. So the first one we will do is you can grab the yellow. We're going to do the nose. And where did I just put that? So for the nose, we're going to, act, yeah, we'll do the nose. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet in two, and then two single crochet in the last stitch. And now we're going to turn because we're going to work on the opposite side there. And we're going to single crochet across. So we're going to skip that first one and we're going to go one, two, and then it should be three. And then you're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch. And leave a little bit of a tail to sew that onto the face. And Take the beginning part of your work, of the end, and weave that in. Cut that off. So that's your little nose. Now we are going to do her eyes. Those are black. So you're going to do basically the exact same thing with the black for the eyes. So we're going to single cur or chain five, two, three, four. Five. We're going to do two single crochet in the first, then two single crochets, and then two, sing oops, two single crochets in the last stitch. You're not going to do no more in that. Turn it sideways and don't put any more in that end stitch. And you're going to go and work in that one, the next one, and then there'll be one more stitch, the third. And then join with a slip stitch. Leave a tail for sewing. I'll sew that in in a minute. Do one more for the eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Two single crochet. One. Whoa. Am I using, oh, I'm using the wrong hook? The pink one, I think, keeps coming up. Same size hook, just the wrong hook. So two and then one. One, then one, and then two. This is a core 4.5, right? Yep. And then on the opposite side, we're going to do one, two, three, slip stitch into that first one, and leave a tail for sewing on. Now I'm just going to weave in those two ends that we have on there. off. So now we have the two eyes and we have the nose and they're basically all done the same way. So now we are going to do her, whoops, go back to your white and we are going to do her ears. As soon as I find where I put uh, the directions for them. Oh, 
her ears. Okay, so with her ears, you're going to chain three white. One, two, three. You're going to do seven half double crochets in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, four. five, six, seven. So it almost gives you like a half of a circle, basically, is the idea. Chain one and you're gonna turn. The first stitch, we're gonna do two single crochet, then we're gonna do a single in the next, two single in the next, two double crochets in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch, single crochet in the next, and two single crochets in the last stitch. And then leave a tail again for sewing it on. So I'll go over that one more time with you. So it's basically gonna be like a half a moon sort of thing. So let's do that one more time. We are going to chain three one, two, three. We are going to do seven half double crochets in the, the last chain, the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. We're going to do one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, makes like the peak of the ear, and then we're gonna do two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next, and then two single crochets in the last stitch. And again, leave a tail for sewing on. I thought I turned the volume off on my PC, but I guess I didn't. So now I'm just going to weave in those ends. There's one weave in. Weave this one in. I mean, it's a cute little baby shower gift to make for anybody, and it, they don't take long at all. So, and there's your two little ears. Now, before we sew those on, I usually, when I have a, like for the hat, you have all these, but all my stuff, I sometimes I think I do too many embellishments, but anyway, I always do all my embellishments all before I sew everything on, so I kind of place everything on and then do them, so everything is kind of even in that. So, now the bow with the hat, you're going to use your pink, and you are going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to double crochet in your second chain from the hook and in each chain across, which will give you nine. And you're gonna chain two, go back across, and you're gonna do this for eight rows in total. Now, you don't have to do your bow as big. You can do half double crochets if you'd like.
you don't have to do as many rows either. You can do it however the size you would like to have it. This is just what I did when I came up with it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more row. was my son's cat, but he moved to Montreal right before COVID hit, and it was a year and a half before he could come home for a visit, so he was my COVID buddy, me and him, and so he ended up staying with me. So then you're going to fasten off, you're going to weave in both ends. I'll feed you soon, buddy. It's funny how animals know their supper time. He's probably thinking, come on, man, you're late. With the program, old lady. Okay, so you're going to weave in both ends. And now what you're going to do is take a long piece of the pink yarn. And double it. You just put it into one into here and just kind of do it this way so they're even. Let's cut the ends off to make it even. And then I just kind of secure that in somewhere in the center of it. So that's secure.